Rangers. An extraordinary final season in the making. What a moment. And a career of extraordinary moments. He's done it again. Beltre homered his last time up there. Hammered a pitch right down the right field line that got out of here by 20 feet. He is three for four this evening. Tenth inning, 3-3. Dodgers and Rockies. 0-1 oh to Charlie. Swung out a high fly ball to deep left field to Dodger Ben Yankees. Did you believe a home run? And the Dodgers have clinched the division and will celebrate. Now from Cobb County, Georgia, a look there at SunTrust Park. Today, the third and final game in this three-game series between the New York Mets and the Atlanta Braves. Major League Baseball on the show is next. Bartolo Colon is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Braves. What do you have for us on MH? Well, Matt, he's had good success against left-handed hitters, hitting under 250 against him. When you're having that kind of success against the left-handers, you're going to be in a lot of games. Ready now, Curtis Granderson. And the home-away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Here's the pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Our game time temperature here to start play a balmy 86 degrees at first pitch. Grounded up the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. I like the pitch right there. Got it to chase a fastball out of the zone. I'd come back with it again. And a fastball is swung on and missed, and there is your first out of the contest. And now a chance to meet the Mets. HR, what do they need to do to complete the sweep? Matt, this club just got to get on the board early. When they get out and score early and put the pressure on the other team, they have a great chance of winning games. I think that's the key to this one here. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. His past battles with Bartolo Colon. He's got two hits in 19 tries. He's also gone down on strikes five times. Yeah. And the low 80s slider is in there, and he's in control one and two. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Two, Behind two. the plate is Earl Hendricks. Yeah, Matt, and Hendricks is another one of those well-respected umpires. Some say he favors one side of the plate from time to time, but most of the time, it's not very noticeable. I understand pitching carefully to this guy in the box, but the man on deck doesn't represent any relief either. He's going to have to go after one of these guys. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. Batting third. The left fielder now at the 52. plate, Joannes Cespedes. Yoannes and as you take Cespedes. a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Slider one. stayed too low. Ball two. Harold, these Braves as they begin play here this afternoon. They suffered a bit of a setback last time out, but not to worry. They're still six and two over their previous eight ball games. There goes Cabrera. And that's in there, base hit. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one out single. Hey, Matt, I love the fact they hit and ran right there. 0-0 zero, zero score, tie ball There's game. Number but you're putting pressure on the defense. Hey, you want to score right. first. Now they're set up first and third in a situation where they can now take the lead if they finish the inning out properly. Standing in now. David Wright hit swung on and missed the throw and a wide throw here as it skips into center field good steal of second there and that really sets up the middle of this order to drive in a run and break this scoreless ball game always great if you can score first early in the game oh, 
He's set. Here's the 2 2. And here's a ball hit in the air. Phillips backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Great scoring opportunity miss right there. You talk about frustration. Popping it up with two runners in scoring position. He'd like to get that one back. Runners at second and third with two gone. That one's in there, three and one. His pass battles with Bartolo Colon, a three for 12 line. He's taken him deep once. He's set, here's the three one. And he takes ball four. So now at least they're set up for the force at any base here with two away. Some guys take a little time to find the zone, but with the second walk in the first inning, it might be a little more than just settling in here. Not sure how long of a leash they'll give him, but they're not gonna let him walk the world out there. Fastball in there, three and two. Okay. Definitely a big pitch coming up right here. He's going to be pumped if he can work his way out of this inning with the game still tied. From the belt, the pitch. Now this is on the ground to second. Is he going to get out of this? Over to first. He does get out of it, and the inning is over. A couple of walks, but no damage. More to come on the show Sunday Baseball after this. Steven Matz gets the starting nod for the Mets. Harold, what do you got? Matt, the last three games have been a bit of a struggle, and you wonder why? Well, if you look at the base runners. He's allowing a lot of traffic on the bases. And so for that, I look at one number. His whip, it's over 1-5. He's got to get that down if he wants a chance to win games. Coming to the plate now, Ender Inciarte. He enters play, hitting in the 260s for the year. A sinker over the outside corner for strike two. Now here's the pitch. Hit out towards second. And Walker's throw is in time for route number one. And time now to take a look at how these Braves are lined up in this one. Who stands out to you, Danny? Well, Matt, I'm excited to get a chance to see that left-handed hitter, Freddie Freeman. He's been the fire starter for this team. Last 10 games, how about an on-base percentage of over 400? As he goes, so goes the team. He's playing great ball and making things happen. Here's Brandon Phillips. Lifetime numbers against Steven Matz. He's gone three for eight. He also has one home run. Swing and a miss at the curveball, and there's your second out of the inning. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. In now, Freddie Freeman. As he sends it on the ground to first. Scooped up on the backhand. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. It's quite possible the humidity has finally taken its toll on some of the fans. And inning in the books, no score on the show. In now, Jay Bruce, hitting just a bit over the Mendoza line on the year. Ready to deal, here's the 1-1. One -one. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. That's a good take on that fastball there. You know he's looking for something up there to drive, but that was just a little above his happy zone. Not everyone has the discipline to hold back on those. Pro to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the Braves. And I'm looking at that dude, BP. Yeah, the second baseman right there. He is really special. I love the nickname, but on top of that, Brandon Phillips is a showman. Hit a ball at him, and he'll flip it behind his back. He'll jump up and snag it. He does everything. Can't take your eyes off him. Striding forward now, Travis Darno. And he's a guy that's really scuffling at the plate right now. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Yeah. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. Here's the pitch on two and two. 
And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Looked to me like he tried to do way too much on that 2-2 pitch. You don't have to come into the zone on that count, but a pitch that far outside isn't going to tempt anyone to swing. Great effort on the dive, but it's through into left. Now look at the screen here, okay? That ball is inside off Not the ignite. zone, inside Pepper. off the plate, and he still was able to pull his hands inside and get a base hit. Stepping in now, Steven Matz. Now a bunt attempt here, and they'll just tag him out along the first bank's line. Center fielder number three. Digging in for his Curtis second at bat, Granderson. Curtis Granderson. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Don't let him score now. Swinging a ball line down in the left field corner. But this will be foul. Now a swing, and he pops him up right up the chute. This may be tough behind the plate. And he'll get under it to put it away in foul territory, and that ends the inning. Met strand one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. So here's Matt Kemp now. He enters play hitting down in the 240s for the year. Now Kemp awaits the 1 1. High in the air out to center field. Under it is Granderson, one away. All right, time for the majestic defensive hey, alignment for the Mets. Um, and in the outfield, Joanna Cespedes, this guy's got maybe the best arm in all of baseball. Seems like every time there's a big moment or a big play, he comes up gunning, and he's gunning guys at the plate. He is so fun to watch throw. At the plate, Emilio Bonifacio. The average for him entering play, not far north of 200. And a 2-2 sinker falls in there. Three and two now. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. Well, that's a great example of just pure hitting. Switch hitter takes the ball the other way. This is something they work on from both sides of the plate. Nice execution. Into the box, Nick Markakis. And awfully close there on three and two, but take your base, says Earl Hendricks. It's ball four. And next will be Dansby Swanson digging in. He brings a rather ugly 230s batting average into this one. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Little chopper back to the mound. He'll throw back to second to get the out, and that's going to be all they get. Boy, a risky play there, but it pays off. On to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. Into the box now, Kurt Suzuki. He comes into play with a batting average in the respectable 270s. Chopped weakly to the left. There to get it is right. Throw to first is going to be in time, and the Braves rally comes up short as that's out number three. Two left for Atlanta. We'll move to the third with no score. Digging in the switch hitter as Drubal Cabrera reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Favorable call in there for a strike. Here's the 1 and 2 delivery. Down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at 1 and 2. Whoa, he tried to get a little cute right there, a little two-strike changeup. He thought he might get a swing and miss, but man, he left that in the zone. He's fortunate that ball didn't leave the park. Markakis is under this one, one gone. 
So one gone now as we give you a look at where these two teams find themselves entering play in the National League's Eastern Division race. Ready for another chance. Joanna Cespedes, a base hit in his first trip. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Right over the middle, knee high. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit hard on the ground at first. Freeman's got it, and he'll step on first himself for the out. The third baseman, number five, David Wright. Stepping in and ready for another shot, David Wright. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Now the pitch. Shatters the bat as this is hit on the ground. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Mets. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Into the box now. Bartolo Colon. He'll lead it off against Steven Matz. Now the pitch. Just a bit jumpy that time. Swung on and missed. Well, that is a good pitch. A sinker down with that kind of movement, it is really hard to hit. No wonder he swung and missed. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first out. Here's Ender Inciarte. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ender Inciarte. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. But the throw will be in time at first, so he's denied the base hit on a bunt attempt. Well, you know, he had a good idea right there. The infield was playing back, but it's not going to work out for him this time. That's a nice play to react, and they take care of him at first. So bases are empty here with two gone, and stepping in the second baseman, Brandon Phillips. This is line to left. And Phillips has himself a base hit. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Swing, and he pops him up over toward foul territory. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing, our score. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Brave strand one. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Here's Neil Walker. He drew a base on balls his first time up. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stands at number four. Well, they haven't been able to scratch a run across yet, so maybe this walk will jumpstart their Lucas offense a little bit. Duda. Here's Lucas Duda now. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here's the 1 and 1 pitch. And he lays off for a ball, 2 and 1. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue or does somebody score here? Uh, I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low scoring affairs. Runner going a second time. And he steps off, but he's safe at first as he gets back in time. Here's the 2 2. Again, he's off for second. Hit down the line at first. Step on the bag for one. Here's one that you don't see too often, right? Safe at second base, but out at first. Great hustle there from the runner going into second. Really showed off his speed. As a look, now the pitch. 
Slice down the left side, but foul. Oh, he's clearly hitting off the fastball right there. You don't hit one that hard if you're not looking for it. Hard hit toward the hole. And there's a base hit as that gets through into left. Throw comes into third now, so they're at the corners here with only one out. After that single, now we're first and third. This is where he's got to bear down. I love the shutout, but this is going to be one of those times. If he gets it, it's going to be in this inning that decides it. Into the box now. Travis Garneau hit high in the air down the right field line. Kemp is there. Let's see if they test it. And he will score on the sacrifice fly as he's in with our first tally of the ball game. Hey, this has pretty much been a pitcher's duel so far, so any way you can score a run That's in right. a sack fly right there brings home the first run of the game here in the middle innings. Here it comes on one and one. Yeah. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. One run on three hits and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Pitch popped up. Swanson is there for it. And that's the third out. A run, a hit, and a man left. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. The Mets lead this one one to nothing. Digging in to try it again. Matt Kemp comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Taking all the way, it's 3 and 1 now. Into his motion. Here comes the 3 and 1. Leaves a change up high for a strike. Oh, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top-level arm like this. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. Digging in, Emilio Bonifacio. One for one after a single his first time up. And this is chopped foul near the plate, and the count will move to one and two now. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. He'll throw back the second to get the out, and that's going to be all they get. Boy, a risky play there, but it pays off. So that one wasn't quite hit sharply Sharp enough to turn two. Yeah, choppers like that Nick, make it really tough. It. You can't make the ball get to you much faster, so the key is making sure you field it cleanly and at least get one, which they did there. Ground ball to second. This could be two, and he is in there. Well, that's one of those unusual plays right there. Great hustle by the runner going to second base. He just picked up the team, made a base hit. They couldn't get the throw to second base in time. Therefore, he gets a hit. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. And he just misses with a curveball. Great chance right here as a hitter to be aggressive. You can pretty much count on a pitcher. He's trying to get back in the strike zone. And with two guys on base right here, now, meanwhile, this ball's going to get through, and that's a base hit. And the tag, too late as he's across to tie things at one. They got shut out yesterday, and it wasn't pretty. Even though it's taken them a little while to get their first run here, at least they're on the board. In now, Kurt Suzuki. And now one taken by Suzuki as he draws it even at two and two. One run, four hits, and no errors so far for Atlanta. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Granderson going back on it. He makes the running play. Two down. The pitcher, number 40. So striding forward now, Bartolo Colon. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Here it comes on one and one. And this is taken for a called strike. Oh, that's a tough call. Now one and two. Obviously, he wants to help himself out right here. With two strikes, that's going to be difficult to do. Let's see if he can put the ball in play. Another one-two delivery. 
line toward the alley in left center. And he won't get it as that's down for a base hit. Long throw to the plate. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. Two outs and a pitcher at the plate. More often than not, you're going to get out of the inning. But he was Better determined. Stayed with it and Ender. got the base hit. In not getting him today with two outs. Standing in now, Ender Inciarte. And a half-hearted attempt that time as he broke the plane of the plate. It's a ball and two strikes now. Trying to keep the score where it is and the pitch. But right there is the second baseman, and that will retire the side. So two runs on three hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We played four full. Braves lead this one two to one. Here's the center fielder, Curtis Granderson. And Dan, he and his fellow top of the order hitters haven't really offered much help for this lineup so far. No, your one, two, three guys are the ones you look to to generate a lot of action. And they just haven't been up to the task so far in this one. Still time for them to turn it around, though. We'll see if it happens. There's a changeup over the outside corner. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. Grounded to the right. Phillips is up with it. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Here now is his dribble Cabrera. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Fifth inning, 2 to 1 our score. Slider clocked in the mid 80s there. It's a ball and two strikes. On its way is pitch number 75. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. Drifting toward the third base dugout. And he'll squeeze this one for the second out. The left fielder number so we 52. saw the fastball there as he got the pop-out. And that'll segue right into our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. Both guys pretty close. Top speeds of 95 and 94. Two out, nobody on. On the ground to the left side. Throw in time and the side is retired. Mets go down one, two, three. They're down two, one. Here's Brandon Phillips. He's one for two in the ball game. Skied into straightaway right. And this is taken in out there by Bruce for the first out. The first baseman, number five, Freddie Freeman. Here's the first Freeman. baseman, Freddie Freeman. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And he'll lay off two the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at 2 and 2. Hard hit ball to second, taken by Walker. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. How about it? Right fielder. So here's Matt Kemp now. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Bases are empty here with two men out. And that misses 2 and 1. Well, it's 2 and 1 now, and we haven't seen a fastball from him in this at bat yet. As a hitter, you've probably got to sit on that right now. Hit sharply on the ground. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. So he delivers with two away, and the bottom of the fifth marches on. Well, a little two-out single. It? Now, you may not think Third it's much, but he's already given up a couple oh, runs this game, so maybe oh, this is the start of something big. Stepping in now, Emilio Bonifacio. Now a swing and a hard-hit grounder. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Lays two, off two. two and two now. A runner on first with two away. Line towards center field. And that'll get down for a base hit. Breaking his heart, Matt. Breaking his heart. You got two quick outs. Well, He's thinking he's going to cruise to this thing. And now look at him. Nick, boom, Mark boom. Baker. Base hits coming back at you. That's why you have to complete the inning. Into the box, Nick Markakis. 
Liner towards second. That's in there. Base hit. Kemp rounds third and is digging for the plate. And he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. Well, that ball right there, Matt, he hit it hard. We saw it. He smoked it to the outfield. This may be a sign. Pitcher's starting to get a little bit tired. He's starting to make some mistakes. He's leaving some balls over the plate. Into the box now, Dansby Swanson. Curveball that time, not even close. Well, you know, giving up three straight hits is bad enough, but now it looks like he's starting to nibble a little bit. It's hard not to when you're getting hit, but you don't want to put yourself in bad counts. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. And a big strike out there as they'll leave a couple of runners on base, and after a good start to the inning, they can't capitalize any further. Braves will settle for just the one. We're through five here at the ballpark. It's the Braves three and the Mets one. Here's the third baseman David Wright. He's batting cleanup in this one but will get us started here in the inning as they look to wake up the bats. Yeah not much to get excited about with just a single notch on the scoreboard but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side has been really impressive. Well he's having a good amount of success here Dan even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah but for him Matt he's more pitch to contact kind of guy and obviously it's working so far and the way he pitches it really keeps his pitch count down. This is one of those rare hitters counts we've seen in this game they're just having a difficult time getting it going and a base hit so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. And he's going to make it. He's in at second base with a leadoff double. So a line drive double here has him in business to start the inning. As we check out the top Mets in that department, you can currently see he's third best on the ball club. Ready for another shot now. Neil Walker. A couple of walks for him thus far. Cologne looks back now the pitch ah. called strike and he's behind one and two can't say he's tickling around the zone those last two pitches were pretty much grooved right down the middle but it didn't bite him oh, I'm good about this. ready to deliver the one and two and this is going to find the crowd down the left field line count holds at one and two we're in the sixth inning here in a three to one ball game. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And the runner scores from second as they cut away into that deficit here. It's now a three to two contest. Back to back doubles now and that's a great way to get an inning going. The leadoff man shows him how it's done and he comes right behind him following suit. Lacing a double of his own could be a big inning if this continues. Now it looks like the Braves are going to get a lefty up and throwing in their bullpen. In now, Lucas Duda. He swings and grounds it to short. Throw on to first in time, one away. The right fielder, number 19. Digging in and looking for more, Jay Bruce. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. A man at third with one away. Slow bouncer to the right side. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the second out. But meanwhile, the run is in to score. I like that he didn't try to do too much there. All he needed was a ground ball to tie this thing up. And that's exactly what he does. That's great situational hitting. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. Now, some action in the Braves' bullpen as they'll stand up a right hander to get loose. Knee high slider that he takes a look at. And with just five and two thirds innings under his belt, he's about to hit the century mark in his pitch count now. Yeah, but if he gets through this inning, I think they'd be happy with it. To get through six innings and just a little over 100 pitches, I think that's pretty good out. Inciarte is underneath this one, and that will retire the side. 
So they get a couple of runs on two hits, no errors, and no one left aboard. We'll see eight, nine, and one do up in the bottom of inning number six, and we are all tied at three apiece. Ready for another chance? Kurt Suzuki. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Here's the 3 and 0 pitch. Yeehaw. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Now that's a really curious pitch selection. 3 0 and turned to the slider. You have to wonder if maybe he's lost the field for his fastball. And a full count now, 3 and 2. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Swing and a line drive. But that's a foul ball. The next 3 2. Curveball hit on the ground to shortstop. Cabrera's there. And a good throw gets him one gun. The pitcher, number Tyler You're Flowers. It's going to loosen up now in the on deck play. circle, so that's going to be all for Colon in this one. Tyler Flowers. Hit on the ground to third. Glove by right. Throw gets him. Two down. Center fielder number 11. Ender. Here's Ender in Ciarte. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Here's the 1 and 1 pitch. Swing and a liner. Throw to first in plenty of time and the side is retired. Braves are set down one, two, three. Six innings are in the books. Score holds it three to three. Back here at SunTrust Park, tight one on our hands. All tied at three apiece as we look at the game summary through six innings of play. You're Chaz Rowe play. is on to now pitch from the bullpen the now to start inning number, number seven. 51. Chaz Rowe. Michael Conforto is up off the bench as he'll pinch hit here to start inning number seven. A good action on the two seamer there, and it's one and two. Ready with the one and two. Checked his go? swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire. Ball two. Hit back up the middle. Swanson picks it up. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Fielder number three, Curtis Granderson. Here's the center fielder, Curtis Granderson. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. One and one, here it comes. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. And that pitch catches the inside corner. One out, nobody on. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Great spot on that 2 2 fastball. You can't place it on the inside corner any better than that. And as a hitter, there's just not a whole lot you can do with that unless you're looking for it and time it just right. Love seeing a guy that can work the inside with his fastball. Stepping in now as Dribble Cabrera squared that one up just a little late. That's a foul ball off to the left, and it moves to one and two. Another one sent foul. Well, that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. Yeah. 
on the ground softly towards second and Phillips is having some trouble with it. Yeah, and with two outs, the pitcher was mentally in the dugout already. Now he's got to regroup and find a way to get out of this. Hard not to feel for the guy. Standing in now, Yoannis Cespedes. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Two and one now to Cespedes. And there he goes towards second. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Back goes Kemp. And as Mets fans have heard before, that ball's out of here. It's a two run shot here for Joanna Cespedes. Home run number 16 for him on the year. And it's now five to three. one of those pitches you wish you could take back as soon as it leaves your hand but guess what there are no delete or rewind buttons in baseball that's a mistake and it was a good job by his opponent to make him pay for it your attention please new now pitcher set to Braves, take over the hard throwing right hander Blaine Boyer, Blaine Boyer. Into the box, David Wright. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Good pitch right there from the reliever. Tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location unless they're looking for it. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys, so we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. Hit hard back up the middle, and that's through for a hit. So on a full count pitch, he's able to get on base and keep the inning going. Up next for the Mets. Here's Neil Walker. It was an RBI Double deal for him in his Walker. last turn to the plate. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Kemp giving chase. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Ladies and gentlemen, but the Mets do strike for two, for both coming on this two-run home run. Bottom of the seventh inning coming up. Get up and stretch. 5-3 New York. Hansel Robles gets the call from now the pen to take the over on the mound and start Number the home seven. Hansel Robles. Ready once again, Brandon Phillips. He's working on a one for three thus far. And it looks now like a right hander has begun to get loose in the Mets bullpen. Yeah. Takes a look at a change up there and it's a ball and two strikes now. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. I like the pitch. It just missed. That's a sweeping slider. That thing is nasty. Try to get him to chase it. I might even come back with it again. Granderson is right there one down. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Into the box now, Freddie Freeman. As he sends it on the ground to first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Now batting, right fielder. So here's Matt Kemp now. One for two on his line so far in the game. The 0 2 delivery. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. The next 0 2. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. Bruce has a read on it, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Braves. Still a two-run deficit. It's five to three. 
Ian Kroll has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Ian Kroll. Leading off the inning, Lucas Duda, as they'll look for some added insurance before the bottom half of the inning. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Two, two. And a neck high fastball that time. He's ready with the 2 2 pitch. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Now here's the pitch inside as he nearly got him and it's ball four. Here's Jay Bruce now. He was a ground out victim last time up. Runner goes for second. Bruce in the air to right but that'll hook foul and back up into the seats. The three two one more time hit hard towards center in there a base hit now a long throw to third and the throw will come in quickly from center so despite the hit and run they won't get the extra base here. Well Matt clearly that was a hit and run the runner was off on the swing and he drives the ball so hard to the outfield they couldn't advance it. In now, Travis Darno. Now a bunt attempt here. Throw won't get him. The pitcher number 47, Hansel. Jose Reyes will get the call here He's as he'll hit for the, for the pitcher. Number seven, Jose Reyes. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. This is where you got to pitch to the strikeout. Infield's drawn in. You don't want contact. You want to make him swing and miss. Throw the nastiest stuff you have. This is sky down toward right. Kemp has a read on it. He's got it one away. And the throw comes in, and all three runners are forced to hold on with one away now. Center fielder number three. In is Curtis Granderson, Granderson. Looking to change his fortunes here. 0 for 4 with two strikeouts so far in the game. And now the runner breaks for the plate. Now a bunt attempt here. So they get the out at first, but the run will score on the suicide squeeze. Something you don't see all that often anymore as the runner was breaking from third. The perfect suicide squeeze gets him a run. Stepping in now as Drupal Cabrera. And this is off the glove of Suzuki as it bounces away. Safe at the plate as they tack on one more to make it 7-3 now. And the run will score on the wild pitch. My goodness. Both teams with eight hits in this one. Here's a pop-up now. And on to first with it is Freeman, and that'll end the inning. So it's two runs on one hit, no errors, and one man left on. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Mets seven and the Braves three. Jerry Blevins is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Jerry Blevins. Emilio Bonifacio will be the first one to greet him as he'll have to turn around and bat from the right side of the plate here. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. This is line to left. That's in for a base hit. He's now three for four. 
So their half of the eighth opens with a man aboard. Well, they've hung around. I know it's late in the game, but that's a big leadoff single. Maybe this will be what they need to get to start that attack to put them ahead. Standing in now, Nick Markakis, a swinging bunt to the mound. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the sure out. The batter number seven, shortstop. And next will be Dansby Swanson digging in. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Addison Reed. Answers now the call now, the looking to get this one onto the ninth inning without any trouble. Addison Reed. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Yeah, and he takes a good swing at that one as this is sent down the line in right, but ultimately into the crowd of foul ball. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. Grounded to short. Taken there by Cabrera. Throw on to first. Two gone. A look there at the numbers for our two starters here today. With both guys recently departed from the ball game and looking on from the dugout. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Kurt Suzuki. And Dan, this could be a real make or break situation at this point in the game. Yeah, Matt, at least scoring one run in this inning is so important to them to possibly get back into this thing. Baseball doesn't have a clock, but you only have 27 outs to work with. They're running out of those pretty quick. Another full count pitch home. Bounced slowly back toward the mound. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. One left for Atlanta. They're down four. It's seven to three. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. here Arotis Viscaino will come on now, and he'll slide Atlanta. into the seven spot Nothing in the lineup the following the double spot. switch. Number 38. Sean Rodriguez. Arotis will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. He went deep earlier, and he's two for four to this point. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And that slider's almost in the dirt. Here's the one and two delivery and he chased it in the dirt. The throw down to first one away. The third baseman number five. Here's the third baseman David Wright. He's doubled and singled in four at bats in this contest. The set and the one one pitch lifted in the air out to right. Kemp has a read on it. Two down. Next for the Mets. Second base. Riding in once again, Neil, Neil Walker. Walker. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. Here it comes on nothing and two. This one's blooped out toward right center field. Inciarte moving in. And that retires the side. Nothing across here this half of the inning. Nine, one, and two scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. It's the Mets seven and the Braves three. Set to get his day started, Sean Rodriguez. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Hit the other way out toward right field. Bruce has a read on it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Center fielder number 11, Ender. Digging Inciarte. in once again, Ender Inciarte. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Ready on 1 and 2. 
And this is drifting foul back into the stands. Now another one two. And another foul ball. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Here he comes again. One two. Popped up. Calling for it. Duda. And he makes the catch for the second out. The second baseman number four. Brandon Ellis. Digging in to try it again. Brandon Phillips. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. And that's ah. taken for strike two as now they're down to their final strike here this afternoon. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Now a swing and he pops him up. And this should do it. And he'll put this one away for the final out. And the Mets have come in here and finished off a three-game sweep as this one is over. You might think it's just another win, but it's awfully hard to win in this game, especially on the road. But they find a way to get it done, and they should be very happy with this performance. And this afternoon's game ends 7-3. Steven Matz earns his eighth victory of the season, so that'll just about do it. For Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious New York Mets. Seven runs, eight hits. No errors. Fly ball, center field. NCRT on the run, still going on the way to track at the wall. He got it! NCRT caught it on the wall. And the Braves have beaten the Mets. Incredible catch to save the game. And the Braves have stopped. New York tonight. They've stunned a lot of people tonight. Maybe the catch of the year right there.